So there she is. I just set it on the cart. Now I'm gonna hook up all the uh, torches and everything. And as you can see, I've already got the uh, stinger there for the um, arc welder function. So here we are all set up on my torch cart, my TIG cart. And I got my 220 here. Got my uh, stinger right there. There's the 110 plugged in. That coil over there is for the foot controller. Here's my ground and I've got my ground on the cart. What I do is I throw my weld, uh, my work up here and it's automatically ground because it's uh, the whole cart is grounded. grounded. So uh, here's the uh, torch holder and uh, you may have seen one of my other videos where I made this um, TIG torch holder and this kind of goes right in there like that. And uh, if you've ever dropped your torch, you know that it's not fun because your cup will crack and be wasted after that. Here's the uh, welder itself and more mods to my torch. Got my um, vice grip clamps there. Got my ball peens all around here. Got more clamps down there. Um, here's where the gas bottle is. Gas bottle's all hooked up. So I'm gonna do a little bit of welding and show you what it looks like. So here's the setup. What I've got here is I'm making a uh, hammer for my mill. It's actually the drawbar hammer. And right now what I wanna do is I wanna weld a socket onto this piece of metal here that I made for the hammer. Um, that'll be something separate if I even make a video on it. Um, but I just wanted to show you, I beveled it just a little bit and I'm just gonna do a uh, tack on a couple of different sides with the welder. So, turn it on. Um, got it set at 90. 90 amps. The fan's pretty loud, but not quite as loud as my old TIG 175. So let's give it a shot. noise compared to my transformer welder. Um, it's got a post flow on right now, but uh, that was without any filler rod at all and it seemed to leave a pretty decent sized tack. Try it again. Now I've got it on 90 amps and I'm running uh, 115 volts. It seems to be running pretty nicely. Other than the funky sound, it seems to be doing a pretty nice job of welding. This is with no filler at all, so it's actually pretty impressive.
really impressive because my uh, Miller 211, which is a 110 220 machine also, you can't run a bead on 110 without it throwing the breaker and I'm only on a I'm on a 20 amp circuit. I gotta tell you that uh, arc noise is pretty loud. I think I'll be wearing some uh, hearing protection if I continue to do this. Anyway, let me show you what the welds look like. Um, you happen to notice your sharp viewers out there. I went around it twice, and that's because first time around I was welding up that little. Um, there was like a um, a groove on the socket, which I mistook for my joint. Oops. Anyway, here's my weld. Let me put it back in manual mode. See if I can't get a focus on this. I'm gonna put my welding helmet down. Be right back and we'll rotate this around a little bit more. So there's the welds. Like I said, I went around it twice. And uh, really decent weld there. No filler material whatsoever. And um, pretty happy with the way this welder works. Hope you can see that. And that's it for this video. So far, this uh, Square Wave TIG 200 from Lincoln is a win. I like it.